Hey guys, today's uh, December the 4th of 2021, and I want to go over the Nifty 50 for all my Indian friends and brothers out there using WDM price and time technical analysis. Let's get into it. I want to do a quick video, and let's uh, look at the charts. Using the uh, Elliott Wave technique on the monthly chart, you can see that we have a 1, 2, and this is a big Wave 3. Uh, possible targets, if it pushes really deep into Wave 4, is that 14, 6, 3, 5 or 122.87. Is it gonna get down there? Eh, very slim, but just showing you the probabilities just in case it does get a massive flush down. Those are levels you wanna keep an eye on, on the monthly. On the weekly, you can see that we have one, two, three, and these are levels of a possible wave four if it ever pushes down there is that 162.67 and also the uh, 148.18. The good thing about on the weekly is, is that you're chopping around the 20, you're above the 50, the 100, and the 200. So that's good. Just a little retracement, you know, positive, negative, positive, negative, uh, major, minor, major, minor, as I was reading Gan's book. Uh, looking at the daily, you can see that this is all a wave three. And we have done an ABC correction into wave four. Uh, you're below the 20 SMA, the 50. You're chopping around the 100. Here's the 200. As you can see, the 100 became support here. Uh, and the 200 came support here. So uh, this is where we at. And I'm looking for higher prices or at least retest this high. Uh, going into a wave five will will, will take us into 21, 211, 16. I'm trying to get used to these big numbers. Uh, let's see. Let's put some uh, indicators here. On the weekly, you can see that on the linear regression channel, it kind of fell off the bed here. See right there? Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. It's still chopping around, and it could probably get back in back in the linear regression channel, push higher. But when you look at the daily, it's a negative. The date you want to watch for the, probably as a, the ellipse technique is 12-9. So if that's on a Saturday or on a Sunday, look for it on a Monday. Or if it's close to a Saturday, look for it on a Friday, especially on the trading day. Target to the upside is at 183.85, all the way to 185.74, all the way as high as 188.72, all the way to uh, 190.51. And I think that's it for this chart. I don't have anything else to show right here. Next chart, let's go into it really quick. I wanted to go with this slide first. Where am I? This is from the beginning of this move using the uh, pitchfork, Andrew's pitchfork. You can see that we fell out of bed here and we're kind of like, kind of like a no man's land right here. But when you adjust this pitchfork from these uh, swing pivot points, uh, the 50%, uh, this is what you get. So it's kind of battling that 50 medium line right here. And if it could hold that, and then we're going to retest this line, probably hit this uh, medium channel uh, or pitchfork channel and maybe battle out there and retest that high right here. Let's go back where this is the uh, Dewey cycles that I just kind of monitor myself. As you can see, it makes a high over here of uh, December 20th. The GAN swing uh, is positive, so that's good. And the advanced GAN swing is positive, so that's good. So that gives me an indication that uh, if there's any you know, risk, uh, chances are it's better to go with the trend and be long in this situation with the GAN swings pointing up. Uh, there's a bull bullish Gartley found. Uh, there's a level of 207.04, and that comes in a date of January the 19th. That remains to be seen. So these are levels uh, to the upside. And uh, these are a pattern right here of the ABC of levels to the downside. And so far, we got down to this level right here. 
and just kind of chopping around with a nice doji. With the uh, FIB extensions from that September low anchor to these two swing pivots, you can see that it fell off the bed off that last angle right here. It found support at the uh, 200 extension, and now it's kind of dancing around the uh, 38 2 extension right there. The GAN speeds, this is very fractal. This is just as recent move. I want to see if it's going to build strength. Targets to the upside are going to be the uh, half and the 3 4 and then the 100%. Well, let's see how it hits those targets to the upside. And what, you know, it's not concerning, but according to Gans theory, it's on the weaker side, especially from the one by one. You can see that the one by one, it's been respecting it. It was, you know, battling it out here and kind of even fell below it, but regained. But this time it just fell right through. So if it's going to keep the strength, if it's going to keep going higher. It needs to get right back, right above that uh, one by one. And when you look at the, uh, this is on a side note. When you look at the Cameco, Cameco is the opposite. Cameco has been fighting to stay above this one by one, but it's it's struggling. It just can't, and it just I think right here somewhere around here it was just chopping around really bad, uh, but it is is not staying here. So the Nifty Fifty compared to Cameco is way stronger in regards to the uh, one by one. Uh, these are action reaction lines, and I kind of fixed these now with this la latest impulse line and this uh, correction here. I was just kind of monitoring it to see what price does when it hits these lines. Uh, and I think that's it. Back to the main pitchfork. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, uh, let's go to this chart right here, is the uh, Fourier technique that I use. I want to give you some dates and you can see that the RSI is very oversold, especially if you close this out. It's pushed, I mean, it hasn't really pushed in deep, but it's it's in the oversold area and kind of got this nice little bounce, and that's what you're seeing there. But I wanted to show you uh, this four-year technique, and I wanted to give you some dates. Since I don't really monitor this, this uh, instrument that much, you guys do. You guys will probably hit me up in some comments, you know, once these dates, uh, when these dates approach, you can tell me what happened or what hasn't happened. So we're going to use the first Fourier. So what I do with the uh, Fourier technique, I use the overtones as possible, ch you know, changing points or scalps or, or, you know, swings or whatever, just energy. Uh, it all depends once we, once we get that energy, looking at more fractal, like the 30 minutes or the one hour, what could possibly happen. So these are the dates I'm going to give you, and I use just two swing points. I'm never going to the top. I'm just a couple of swing points behind. So I'm using these two. From these two swing points, I'm looking into the future for possible turning points into December and January. So I'm going to give you the first uh, uh, couple of ones I got for January. Uh, there you go. You see these crossovers? This is from the uh, overtones of the Fourier string. So there's one right there. You see there's one right here. And then when I move this one over here, you can see there's one right there and then one right there. I'm only using the overtones, crossovers, as energy points for possible swings or scalps or you know, bull cake or candles or, you know, big drops, just something that is going to give me that if cause and effect energy. So write those days down the uh, December the 20th. That's a Monday. The third is a Monday. The, uh, the 12th is a Wednesday and the 25th is a Tuesday. And that's uh, using, I can't remember if it's closed or the 50, 50 uh, algorithm setting. Like I said, these two settings, see right there, and then right there. So now we go into the next setting I have, which is the 50-50, and we get all these dates down. Hopefully you pause the video and you can write them down. I had to change the color blue. So here, this is from here, this swing point, and this swing point, forecasting into the future. Keep an eye out on... And it's kind of hard to see. 
all this stuff up there. Let's open it up. It looks like Okay, the 14th, that's a Tuesday. Uh, the 31st, the last day of the year. I don't know if anything's going to happen that day, but we'll see. That's a Friday. And uh, maybe a massive pop. Who knows? And uh, January the 17th, that's a Monday. Yeah, that's that crossover from right here, right there, and then right there. Do I have another one? And the other one. So those are the dates you want to keep an eye on into the future of the Nifty 50. And then we move this here. Let's see what we have. You have that one right there. It's kind of close to 17th. Then there's nothing else. So I just only had one hit. So those are the dates on that technique. Uh, once we get a, we, once we approach December and January, and if these dates did anything, because sometimes I, I get sidetracked with so many stuff, I forget to look at what the forecasts or what I was looking at. It says I'm not really active to this market. I just do it for the, just the uh, listeners on, on YouTube that want me to cover it. Uh, so this is something new that I wanted to share. And since you guys are one of my biggest uh, fans out there, uh, this is one for you. And see how this plays out. Just watch price action once we get those close to those dates and see what happens. Right now, it's hard to tell because we're kind of in a downtrend. But if we continue pushing lower, chances are one of these dates could be a possible swing low. Or if we start going higher, it could be a possible swing high, a point of resistance. And the reason why I showed you is because, look, look at one right here from this swing point. Look at this crossover. This crossover picked this high. See? Mind you, this, there was two, which if you were still short, <coughs> excuse me, you still would have made money going down. There's a crossover here. And look, that was the... Uh, the swing low. You could have gone in in that gap. You would have gone long. Then got out here. And that's that crossover. So if you push that crossover here, you see, you don't get that crossover on that swing high. You get it here now. And it was just then a momentum, an ex, uh, a continuation to the upside. And sometimes they're duds. You see here. Actually, this was consolidating, and once we hit this crossover right here, it broke out. It just started getting Momo to the upside. So, I know a lot of people don't cover this with the Euphoria, but I've come across this just tinkering around with it, and I figured this would be a value, especially for those that use this program and uh, want to get an edge against the algos and hedge funds and everything. This could be a good technique, and we are using it live. And these are the dates that I have. So let's see how it plays out. And hopefully you like this video. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the Nifty 50 using WGAN price and time technical analysis.